In this video, I'll go over some examples of what makes a great green chemistry activity and what doesn't. It might not be quite what you'd expect. Let's start with what does count as a green chemistry activity. And later in the video, I'll talk about what doesn't and why. The best activities correlate to the design principles of green and sustainable chemistry and engineering, which can be found on the ACS GCI website. The brochure includes ideas like maximizing resource efficiency, eliminating and minimizing hazards and pollution, and designing systems holistically using life cycle thinking. Your chapter's green chemistry activities must in some way connect to the concept in this brochure. Popular green chemistry activities include chemistry demos, outreach, field trips, and scavenger hunts like the one pictured here from the University of Puerto Rico, debates, inviting a speaker, and attending or hosting a workshop. They're similar to the activities you do for any student chapter report, but they all have to be done with a green chemistry twist. Dozens of student chapters receive the Green Chemistry Award each year, but I'll share just a few of many great examples. Students at St. Francis University created a poster to display the 12 principles of green chemistry. At Middle Tennessee State University, the chapter organized a public lecture on CO2 separation, conversion, and novel chemical routes to reusing waste gas. It might require a little outside-the-box thinking, but there are literally endless possibilities for green chemistry activities. And just to get your neurons firing, here are two more great examples. Heidelberg University students take annual tours of LEED certified buildings and make connections to how chemistry enables the development of green building materials. Last year at the University of Puerto Rico Aguadilla, students organized a workshop called What is Green Chemistry? to help peers understand the differences between green chemistry and sustainability or environmental chemistry. Which leads us nicely to the next part of this video. What doesn't count as a green chemistry activity? Green chemistry is often confused with environmental chemistry or sustainability. But to earn a green chemistry student chapter award, you have to demonstrate that you know the difference between these fields and green chemistry. So here's everything you need to know to earn that award and have your chapter recognized at an ACS national meeting. Sustainability. Ineligible activities that fall into the sustainability category include things like park, road, or stream cleanups and recycling drives, or using biodegradable party supplies. Things like Earth Day celebrations without a specified green chemistry component are also ineligible. Environmental chemistry. This is a fine line, but activities like measuring pollutants in soil or water don't count as green chemistry. Remember that green chemists look upstream for solutions. Rather than attempting to evaluate negative impacts or repair damages after the fact, they look for alternatives to existing designs and innovate to enable sustainability. There are a few more things you should know before embarking on your path towards being a green chemistry student chapter. General outreach activities don't count towards the green chemistry award either. These are things like making elephant toothpaste and slime with local elementary schoolers or bake sales at a club fair. Each green chemistry activity has to come back to those design principles. And I know this list is getting a little long, but here are some final guidelines to keep in mind. Activities with only one member involved, reusing posters from previous years, and attending three talks by professors at your home university. Sorry, but none of these count. Now, don't get me wrong. Sustainability, environmental chemistry, and general outreach activities are all absolutely essential. We're positively thrilled that you're engaged with chemistry. But to earn a Green Chemistry Student Chapter Award, we're challenging you to take your activities to the next level. It's about so much more than going green. It's about you changing the world, one student, one lab, and one campus at a time.